Our department one time took a homicide. We did everything wrong. But you know, you learn from doing those things wrong. It was always our opinion that, you know, when that homicide came in, it was a full court press, all hands on deck. Just like the TV show goes, you got 48 hours to put that together. And we had one situation going back 20 years ago where there was an overtime crisis in the town and they didn't want to spend overtime. So the bosses in the detective office, you know, they sent half the squad and then sent them home saying that the day guys will pick it up the next day. Well, if you remember the Tate and LaBianco murders in Los Angeles way, way back when, okay? Two different departments handling that case never shared information and it took years for them to solve that case for Charlie Manson to finally go to jail. It was the same thing happened in my own department. Two different shifts had pieces of the case. One shift, one shift thought something was too minor to talk about. The other shift was looking for that minor thing that would have solved the case. A case that we should have solved in 48 hours took seven years. It took the resources of three guys working full time for seven years to arrest the same three individuals in a double murder that we knew did it in the first three hours. And it was because we chose money over practice. And at the end of the day, you can't do that in a, in a heinous crime. You have to do the full court press. You gotta do it right. When you do it right the first time, Ultimately, the package will pan out. My detective commander knows that he can come talk to me and tell me that he's doing it right, it's gonna cost a little more money, and this is how it's gonna happen. Fortunately, I have the ability to go to my town supervisor and say, listen, yeah, it's cost some money, but we have to do it this way. And I'm able to justify it and show it and talk by past history. And fortunately, I've, I've had a perfect situation where in my supervisors that I've worked for, they've never come to the scene. They've never come and said, you can't have this or you can't have that. It was internal pressure that we put on ourselves not to do that one case right. We haven't done that since, and we won't do it because at the end of the day, that case probably costs us 10 times what it would have cost us if we'd just done it right the first time. That communication that has to exist in the police department, it's gotta go from bottom up, from top down, and sideways in between. That's what makes it successful. My day rises and falls on my credibility and the people that work for me credibility. You know, my guys can make a mistake. People, humans make mistakes. We pick up, we solve the problem, we take care of the mistake, we move on. You know, as Richard Nixon found out, it's the cover-up that always gets you, okay? We tell our people to be honest. We tell our people, even if it may have a disastrous result, let's get it, let's get it straightened out because at the end of the day, the only thing we have left is our credibility. And that's what gets me my budget. That's what gets my people to do, be able to work long hours, long days, holidays, and give us the best effort every day. And that's based on our credibility.